Okay, so first thing we're going to do is create a new project. A new project with a view based application. Um, call it ID side and open it up. Okay. Here on the groups and files side, you'll see several different um, folders. The class files are the Objective C files that your app will use. Um, most code will be written in the classes file folder. Um, other sources include your main function and pre-compiled info. Resources contains all of your interface builder, .xib files, pictures, data, and all other stuff that your app will need to run. Frameworks shows a list of libraries you are using. And targets is folder grouping in Xcode that are not file locations. You don't have to group your files this way, but this is the default um, template, the default from the template. Uh, the grouping works well for us, so we'll just leave it alone. The toolbar includes options for setting breakpoints, buildings, and running your application, and more. We'll mostly use building and debugging. Uh, the editor shows your file with the appropriate editor loaded and allows you to work directly with the code, plist, and whatever else you want to do. Now we're going to open our .xib file. I decide viewcontroller.xib. When you open any .xib file in Interface Builder, it will automatically show the main window you're viewing a library of UI components. Interface Builder allows you to drag and drop any of the basic library elements into your view, edit them, and work with the connections between the code and these elements. All of these elements come from Cocoa Touch Framework, a custom UI framework for the iPhone and iPod Touch. This over here is the main window. It shows the objects and views that are currently created for that particular nib. File zoner and the first responder exist for every nib, and others will vary. We'll talk about both in much greater detail later. Each screen in your application is a view. Over here. This shows what your view will look like, minus any data that needs to be loaded in the app. You can build views using code and or by dragging and dropping controls using Interface Builder. We'll use Interface Builder for ID side. Over here, our library. The library shows all of the elements you can choose from to drop into your view. If you scroll around, you'll see there are lots of options. Nibs are XML documents that are loaded by the framework when the app starts up, in case you were wondering. So, First thing we'll do is we'll drag a. Where is it? We're gonna drag a uh, rectangular button onto the view. From here we can change the size to any size we want, and we'll also drag a label on top of that. Call a label what should I do? Now we can get out of Interface Builder, so quit Interface Builder. Make sure you saved it before you quit it. Um, now you're going to go to 3.1.2. For debugging, uh, 3.1 or 3.0 will also work for this, or 2.0 if you really have to, but uh, 3.0 is free in the Apple Store right now. We're build and go. And if you just see a button, that when you click, nothing happens currently.
So we're going to I decide view controller dot H. Now we're just going to change this code right here to say IB outlet. UI label star decision text at property parentheses retain non atomic UI label star decision text semicolon dash parentheses IB action button button pressed semicolon or colon parentheses ID sender semicolon end decision checks decision text um, allows us to change the label text to provide an answer so we need to be able to get to the label control that the framework will build from our nib. Here, here's the action that will be called when the button is pressed. Now we're going to go, we're going to save this, Apple S, go into idecide.m. After it implementation, go at synthesize decision text semicolon. Right below that, type in dash parentheses IB action, parentheses button pressed, parentheses ID sender, one of these, decision text dot text equals at go for it. Ending thing. Add synthesize tells the compiler to create the property we declared in the header file. This is the implementation of the method that gets called when the button is pressed. We'll use our reference to label to change the text. Now we're going to scroll down to the bottom. After void dlock, we're going to type in decision text release. Now we're going to build and run, save all, that should succeed, and we're going to see nothing happens after you press the button. The reason for that is we didn't connect the uh, UI controls to the code. So we have to go to ID System View Controller, double click that, right click on the What Should I Do label, and just drag it over to File Sonar. And click on Decision Text. Save this, Apple S. Interface Builder, quit Interface Builder, or you can just push Apple Q. Now we have to open it again. Right click on the button. Touch up inside. Bring that over to Files Owner button pressed. Save this, quit interface builder, and build this. And when we click on it, you should see the text change.